right, The American Dream is a show that is spanning all across the country, combating negative media, centered around real estate and lifestyle and culture. In every city, we choose who we believe to be the best in that market, representing those communities and the lifestyle, and certainly as an expert in real estate, joining us here in studio for the first time, Tracy Cousineau with Real Estate Expert Advisors. Great to have you here. Thank you. I'm excited. Yeah, so out of Atlanta, which is a, a really cool market, that uh, we're gonna be launching the show, but we're really gonna be building you as the voice of that market. I've got to know you pretty well, as I have with uh, realtors all across the country, but exclusively to you in Atlanta. Uh, and I just want our audience to know how exciting uh, you are as a human being, as an entrepreneur, as a professional, and you have an incredible story. I want you to share some of that story for, for those who don't know you. Well, you know, <laughs> There's a purpose. Um, we all have this purpose. And when I first got into real estate, it was more of, I went from property management into real estate, and it was just the next thing to do. Sure. Right? Yep. And then we go through this recession. And boom. boom. Yeah. You know, you show up for closing, and there's no commission. You know, single mom, three girls, um, lost my house, repo man took the car, you know, just... It just kept Got bad. trickling down yep. and down. And I'm glad I went through that process. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the crazy one that says, thank goodness for a recession. Because I really- So this was 2008. Mm -hmm. So you're already in the real estate business. Mm -hmm. You're in Atlanta and the market hits, which impacted not just the real estate profession. I mean, this was a global economic recession. Right. You just happened to be in the profession that was right at the nucleus of it. So you are successful in real estate at that time, but then you basically lost everything. Absolutely. And then some. And some, yes. Um, but the end of 2011, you know, just stepping back and doing inventory of my life and business and, um, what, what was I doing? Mm -hmm. And that was the question that, that Jason asked me is, you know, what are you doing? And it really, just to be able to step back with that mindset, to be able to answer that question, why did I, why was I doing what I was doing? And at that time, it was a short sale. There were loan modifications. Mm -hmm. It's because- Different market then, yeah. Yes, it was because I, hopefully, that's where I was. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't lose the passion of helping people. And that's really at the end of the day, that's why I'm in this business. It wasn't to carry a paycheck and just at closing, I'm done, you know, like congratulations on your house or we sold your house and it's over with. It was passionately helping people yeah. and helping them save their houses or selling them so they didn't lose, you know, their credit worthy and sure. stuff. So when I step back to look at this, there's just... It was more than just helping that seller and that buyer. And how did we get to that recession? Every transaction feeds many people. Yeah, of course. Right? You've got your lenders and your attorneys, and you've got handymen and painters and appraisers and just inspectors that get paid throughout this transaction as sure. well. And so every home that fails to close, you fail a lot of people, not just your intimate client that you're working with right then. And so if we can get to many people and as many people, then we're saving the community. It's the ripple effect, right? Yes. You know, you look at real estate and often we talk about things like financial stability and uh, growing equity and tax advantages and all the, the numbers that tie to real estate and really the, the financial side. But then we tend to forget, like my parents still live in the house I was raised in. Right. right. So you're building families, community, and memories. And you're talking about 2008 to 11. Here, you're going through this like parallel universe where you're going through all of these struggles, yet you're helping families are going through very similar struggles. And you're able to help a lot of them to protect their credit and their assets and, and to move on with life. And, and I think a lot of people would look at it, hopefully in hindsight, and say, you know, what did we learn and how did we grow from right. this? You, as you shared with me, you're down to your, I believe if I get this number right, uh, your last 173 bucks? 156. 156, okay, yes. so I was off by a few bucks. That's, it, it, that's you know, you're, you're shaking the piggy bank at that point. Now, that's a scary time, but you yep. came out. Now where are we? Gosh, um, we have been a one of the fastest growing real estate companies across America, so we've Swing been- Swing awards in, left and right. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, but we do it, um, 
because that's where that's what we're led to do, to serve others. And, you know, we're just passionate about what we do. And it's it's helping people get to their goals. Um, it's not for the paycheck. It's it's really because we want to help and serve. Yeah. And what I, what I think is really neat about what you have going on. So you, you did this 180 at really one of the hardest times in the history of our marketplace. You have your own story. You helped all of these other families. And now, as I've gotten to know you, not only are you that proverbial top producer, that award-winning realtor in the Atlanta marketplace, helping families buy and sell real estate, but between you and your partner, Jason, I mean, you guys, you guys are speaking at events. You have your, your women's elevation group. I stalked you on Instagram, like 37,000 followers is what I saw. <laughs> so like you, you're really a thought leader. How do you even have time for all of this? Like how do you, how do, you do all this? And, and it's, it's an incredible journey. You make the time to do the things that you're passionate about. Um, I, I couldn't imagine not having the time. Um, you know, I wish that we had more hours in a day, but it's, I, I don't want to say no because <laughs> yeah. we're helping more than just our, I'm helping more than myself. Jason's helping more than himself. And that's just who we are. You know, we want to give back. We want to, um, you know, I, I shared that I, I couldn't public speak. Now look where we're at now. That's a great story in itself. Yeah, I just. Ter terrified public speaker. Goes to Tony Robbins, next thing you know, she's speaking on stage. Yes. So from introvert to extrovert. Mm -hmm. Could you, you know, overcame it, fear, right? It was, I was stopping myself from being able to help other people. You know, the agent that might be in another state or in our same city who just didn't know what they didn't know. Um, and going through what we've been through, if we could just get to one more person every single day, you know, it's just, a, it is a, it's a ripple effect of helping other people. What's next for you? Gosh, um, we're expanding to other marketplaces and really want to partner with other agents and different marketplaces to help them grow and create a lifestyle for them, help more buyers and sellers. Well, the unique thing about this show, The American Dream, we get to know the people that we endorse, right? And we get to know them on a personal and professional level. Professionally, it was easy to find you. You're the top producing brokerage in Atlanta. You're well known across the entire country. But as I've gotten to know Tracy and Jason and their entire team with the real estate expert advisors, uh, you guys are you're such an amazing story. You're making such a big impact and we are so honored to empower you to be the voice of the Atlanta market. So excited to have you on the show. Thank you. We're very excited. So keep an eye out for Tracy in Atlanta. She is a, a rock star in this business and she's coming to our show real soon.